We are spotlighting a local coach in the 608 this morning who is known in her community for always going above and beyond and helping others succeed, especially kids. Yeah, Josh Breider is here now with the inspirational story on Coach Kate. Hi, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning to the both of you. When you first meet Kate Brown, you're greeted with a smile, and she'll make you laugh pretty soon after that. Even in the toughest of times, Kate's a perfect example of why you should never give up. Wrestling just became something that was in our living room every day. It's not rare to find Kate Brown coaching wrestling at Orfordville schools. Oh, you want to double leg him? Let's see a shot. What is rare is the coach herself guiding young athletes through a male-dominated sport. Actually, I don't see any of them. Um, it's, it's on the rise now, you know. Um, so, yeah, I go to the coach's clinic, and I'm the only woman there that's not a, a wife or a girlfriend or whatever. Nice job, guys. Coach Kate, as sophomore Sam Schwangles and junior Wide Egan call her, say it's Kate's powerful voice that gets them going. Helps me to push myself to do the best and achieve like what I'm capable of doing. Coach Kate's another mom to me, been just more than a coach to me, like another friend or parent you could turn to if you needed something. Kate's helped run the Parkview School District's wrestling program for 17 years, raising all three of her boys on the mat too. But the battle she's wrestling with now. Yeah, I didn't know I was sick, so, but I am quite literally took her breath away. Back in May, Coach Kate had a concerning cough and the saliva that came with it just wasn't going away. After multiple tests, doctors noticed a mass in her lung. We were really hoping, you know, for like lymphoma or any other kind of cancer that was curable, but it is terminal. Shortly after her 42nd birthday, Kate was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. Making matters worse, it had already spread to her brain and bones. We're just going to give it our best go, and so that's what we do. This isn't the first tragedy the families had to overcome. Kate lost her one-year-old daughter in an accident back in 2008. Kate tells me it's the community who helped her heal the first time. But a lot of the people back then are some of the same people now that just came forward. And as you drive around the village of under 1,300 today, it's that community behind Team Kate once again. There's just so many people that want to help, and they genuinely care. And that's a good feeling, you know. What are we doing today? Dolphin. Now Kate's got her bucket list. One item crossed off, a recent skydiving adventure in the Grand Canyon with her 18-year-old son. She tells me faith keeps her going and the rare but powerful connection between her family at home and her boys on the mat. I know Kate's not one to ever give up, so she's always there, so life lessons every day. You gotta lead by example, you know? And we tell them all the time, you know, if there's time left on the clock, there's still time to win, so we're looking for that. Looking for a miracle. Kate's prognosis is a few months, but doctors are amazed that she is still walking and talking and doing everything the same as always. Her bucket list includes taking some trips with family and friends yet, but she's most looking forward to this coming wrestling season where the team is already recruiting girls to the mat. They have several benefits coming up to support the family, and I have all of those details up on the Channel 3000 mobile app this morning. Guys. Josh, when stuff like this happens, um Oh, it's hard to talk about, but when stuff like this happens, you see the lasting legacy folks like Kate have. The way those boys talked about yeah. her and the signs in people's yards, I think that goes a long way um, in helping her family. I know, obviously, how that feels, so the, just the lasting legacy, you know, no matter how her story ends really makes a difference. You know, she grew up in the area and I mean, 17 years with a school district and, you know, helping raise her boys through that wrestling program and now being a high school wrestling coach herself and, you know, meeting her in person and I'm sorry, but meeting her in person and just seeing that she's making a difference even in this time and you look at what she's going through and she's still one of the most positive people ever. I mean, that is just amazing and she's still inspiring so many people and of course our hearts and we're thinking of all of her and her family and all of them down in Orfordville too. Yeah, yeah that's why you share these stories is to inspire others and add to that legacy too. I mean, to make sure that people know uh, the kind of uh, life that she lives. So Josh, it's really important stuff. Uh, thank you for sharing it. Uh, it gave us the feels this morning. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Remember to let Josh know it inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him in the 608 at WISCTV.com.